So I have no idea how to even start this video. I will say that, um, welcome to Vloon. I don't know, it just feels weird to say that, but um, I wanted to address a few things on day one um, and then I'll get into what is going to be happening, you know, like moving forward on this channel. So um, yeah, it's been a really tough week, I think, for everybody. There have been things going on in my personal life as well that some of you know of that um, follow me either on Facebook or Instagram or just my personal friends um, that I text with and send messages to and talk to on the phone. Um, on Sunday, uh, my grandmother passed away from complications due to COVID-19. This is my mother's stepmom. Um, my grandfather, so my mom's dad, uh, passed away several years ago from Lou Gehrig's disease and um, they've been together my whole life. I'm 39 years old. I've only known her as grandma, she was not somebody that came into my life at a later time. And um, my mom's doing okay. I've had a lot of questions about that. It's just really sad timing because she died alone. And now everyone that's, you know, attempting to grieve her loss has a very odd way of now dealing with it. Um, we can't have a gathering of more than 10 people in the state of Minnesota right now. Um, and, you know, there's no traditional, you know, review or um, wake or funeral or anything. So we are all just going to have to um, do whatever, you know, we want to do on our own, which is really um, just, it's just an unfortunate set of circumstances. Um, so yeah, um, she was in an assisted, uh, nursing facility. She lived a very good, long life. She had lots of other health issues as well, um, and she was immune compromised, which doesn't help when you have the coronavirus running rampant in your area. So, um, that happened. Um, also on a personal note, my brother that some of you know of that have watched my videos was called up to serve in the Minnesota National Guard. As many of you know, there's lots of things going on, which I'm gonna address in a moment. Um, a lot of you have been asking about that because you have heard that on your local news stations about everything that's going on in Minnesota. And yes, he is currently uh, deployed in Minnesota. Um, I don't really know what's going on. Um, I know that he was called to serve on Saturday uh, afternoon and today is Monday and he is still here and the communication I have received from him is that he is here until further notice and they don't know when um, they're going to be allowed to um, you know, go back home. So um, that is that. Uh, on a kind of positive note, which I kind of feel weird even talking about this, but um, today, June 1st, it marks my three-year anniversary of home ownership, which I'm very excited about, but given today's topic of video, I don't know, just it feels weird. I do have some videos uh, that I have planned coming up about home improvements and things I've done over the last three years in my home, so you know, I, I know a lot of you have been asking for those types of videos and they are coming, but um, yeah, today, three years ago, I signed my papers and signed my life away um, for a mortgage on a house for the first time. So, um, you know, it's it's a very uh, proud moment in my life and I'm, you know, very thankful that, um, you know, I'm still here and I'm safe and I have a house. So, yeah. So this is the point of the video where I'm going to talk about some pretty heavy things, way heavier than a grandma passing away or my brother getting deployed. This affects everyone. I know that I don't have the right words, so please forgive me if I say anything wrong or out of turn. I am saying all of this out of love and respect for the black community. I'm still learning, so I don't have all the answers and I am open to learning more, so if any of you have any uh, resources or constructive criticism or comments, please leave them down below. I will tell you that I'm going to be very closely monitoring the comments of this video. Um, as of me filming this right now, I will be leaving the comments on. If it gets too crazy, I'm turning them off and I just don't want um, anyone to feel attacked. I live in Minnesota. 
I also grew up in Minneapolis. As of right now, I do live a little further away from Minneapolis, but not, I do live in a suburb of Minneapolis. Um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly where I live because that's creepy. But um, everyone in every community is hurt and upset by what happened to George Floyd. For me, this is not a political statement. I don't care what side of the aisle that you were on. This is a human rights issue and we all need to step up and let everyone around us know that black lives do in fact matter. And if your rebuttal is all lives matter, you are right, all lives do matter. But until black lives matter, we none of us matter. I'm a white woman that has a lot of privilege. I know if I get pulled over, I am not in fear of getting shot at or dying in that traffic stop. But I am trying to use my white privilege and my platform, whatever platform that may be, whether there's one person watching or nobody watching, to let you know that I support Black Lives Matter and I'm going to continue to call out racial injustices that I see. Even with all of the social distancing that's going on, I have confronted two people in my personal life over the last few days as an ally to the Black Lives Matter movement. Whether or not I got through to those individuals, I don't know, but I wanted them to be very clear and I wanted myself to be very clear that walking away from that conversation that they knew where I stood on the comments and racist undertones of their statements. Me, as well as many other people, we just can't stop watching the news right now. I am not a fan of the news, as some of you know that have been watching me for a long time. I try to steer clear of the news at any and all costs. However, I feel like this is too important to look away. As of today filming this, um, I believe it's the next two or three nights. Maybe it's the next two nights. I could be misrepresenting uh, here. But um, we are still uh, going to be having a curfew at 8 p.m. Uh, we have had a curfew in place in Minnesota and surrounding uh, counties since Friday night. And this will continue. Um, they are also shutting down freeway access um, in kind of the downtown area as well as the additional suburbs. Um, I, they started doing that around 5, but I, I don't know, um, like during the week, what's going to happen, but I believe they're probably going to shut those down again, I would assume, but I just don't know. It's kind of a day-by-day -day basis, as I'm sure it is in your community as well. Also, as some of you know that have watched me for a while, I do come from a family of police officers. I am in no way defending the man who killed George Floyd in any way. I just want to be really clear about this. However, I grew up with a father that is a police officer. Um, he has been retired for several years. Um, also, I have cousins uh, that live out of state that are police officers. Um, also, someone that I don't talk about a lot, um, but some of you may have heard me talk about previous relationships. Um, I was engaged for a time and um, my ex-fiance is actually a Minneapolis police officer. He is in no way involved in this situation that is currently happening. He currently works with a specialized unit that doesn't go to the types of calls that ended George Floyd's life. So I have been in communication with him just to check in if he is okay and the bottom line is, I do care about people that wear the uniform as well. And I think we all know this, but it goes without saying that all police are not bad. All police are not racist. Also, all military are not bad, and all military are not racist. Like I said again, I am learning and growing and trying to use my voice in a positive way. I also understand that I will never understand what it's like to be a black American ever, but I will stand up and I will speak up for Black Lives Matter moving forward in my life. I don't really know how to segue the next section of this video, which is moving forward on this channel. I want to create still a space where we can be positive, laugh, have fun. I will be doing Vloon. Um, I am actually really excited about it. I'm not excited today about it because I just wanted to film this and get this out for you guys today. Um, I'm going to probably not even edit this too much because I just, I just want you guys to hear from me how I feel 
and what's going on um, with me personally, even outside of everything that's going on in the world. Um, I, I will be posting some regular content too for planner things and other things that I have going on. Um, and I just hope that this can be a little bit of escapism when things get maybe a little bit too much in your life. So that being said, I'm going to close it out here. Please be respectful in the comments if you have anything constructive to say or you have any other resources, you know, please post them. I think that would be very beneficial for anybody that's currently watching the video. Um, I want you all to be safe no matter where you are worldwide. I want you to be safe and um, I love you all. Bye.